Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me in beautifully sunny Miami where it is pretty crazy that I'm here driving in my Ford GT from the UK. But what's crazier is what we're doing today involving that skyscraper right there. The Porsche Design Tower here in Sunny Isles. Now the famous thing about this tower is that it has a car lift with apartments up towards the top. And today I'm taking this car to the penthouse. This car is going to be going to the 56th floor. The penthouse apartment is the 56th, 57th, 58th and 59th. It is across four floors, 20,000 square feet. And I think actually this might be the highest place in Florida that you can actually take a car. So we're going to be pulling up to the front in a second, just watching for the traffic here. This is the building, the round building right in front of us. And um, yeah, I'm quite excited about what's actually going to be happening right now. Since that building opened, it was a bit of a viral story. Here we are though, with my car from Europe in America, ready to go up there. Here it is then, the Porsche Design Tower. Now I've been looking forward to this one an awful lot. It is totally ridiculous that my car here from Europe is going to be going up to the top of a tower in the USA. I, my head can't quite get around this, but basically what happens is the car goes into a lift and is taken all the way up where the penthouse actually has an 11 car garage. Up at the top, 11 cars. This is insane. Now, I'm a... Uh well, I'm intrigued to see how this is going to go. I'm a little bit nervous and apprehensive, but I have faith in the system. I believe it's going to work. I'm going to do a little U-turn here, which is going to be very difficult with my turning circle, thanks to the traffic cones that they've actually put up. But we can do this. We can just maneuver, make it work, and then to the front door. We're here. We are greeted by the Porsche Design logo up above. Use the car's lift system just to lift it up over here and head on in. Up we go then, so we've gone through the security, coming up towards the very top where we are being waited for, and yep, 918 Spider looking very, very nice as well. We'll pull up behind just for a second and then uh, head in and set the plan. Here we are then, and I've just been for a tour of the Porsche Design Tower Miami to see exactly how this is going to work. This, by the way, is G-Dizzle's 918 Spider, which you will spot has the number plate Desivator. The Desivator is the lift system that is going to be taking this car right up, well, I can't really show you because we're under the front entrance, but right up to the top, the highest point that a car can go here in Florida. So I am, needless to say, a little bit excited to see exactly what this is going to be like. I'll talk you through the process. The car had to be sized up, but it's going to be going in a lift up to the very top. Let's do this then. Let's hop on board and go down and get this started. Okay. Now the Miami heat here is absolutely baking me. The humidity is insane. We're of course in the shade right here, but let me get that closed down. The building has all sorts of other things like ballets, there's a games room, there are simulators. The Porsche design building has simulators. There are bars, pools. In fact, there are pools on every balcony. It's crazy. And um, yeah, right, handbrake off. I'm low on fuel, a few other vehicles around, but let's go straight on down then. We're gonna leave the 918 Spider up here for the time being. Take this down and go and see how this is going to play out. And um, I've got this kind of nervousness about it. Of course it's gonna be safe. We know how this works, but I'm a little bit anxious. <laughs> Check this out. You've got three different kind of segments of the pie, three different lift systems. You can see the entrances here. We're going all the way around to the third one, but you get a small feel for what this is going to be like. We meander around here, but basically this is a fully patented automated system that manages and takes the car up. You have to turn the engine off for the whole way, uh, the whole time that the car is actually traveling up. But these are, well, very futuristic and totally unique at the moment in the terms of the way that this is done. The Desivator that is gonna take this car up to 56, well, up 56 floors of the Porsche Design Tower. So this is where we come round. And basically, I line up the car and have to get it dead straight when the glass opens up for the system to come and pick me up. I popped out of the car just to see exactly how this works. But basically, the car is going to be taken inside the elevator. You have those lines which mark where it's going to be placed. And of course, you can see that on the mirror so that the driver knows exactly what to do. A screen displaying as well. The car is then going to be taken off the turntable. And for that part of the process, I'm actually going to jump on board as it's all going to happen from there. Basically, we're going to see this, but that door will open. A dolly 
will come out after this is rotated, pick up the car, I think it's going to go in reverse to go up, and then uh, we'll see it taken out the other side. But I'm going to, as I said, jump in and um, see this and experience it myself. It is time then for me to take a step inside here. We've got some very blue lighting, but basically, I'm a passenger now on a roller coaster ride. I don't have the key on me because you are strictly not allowed to run the engine. That would be a major safety risk. You can see up top the reflection of the car, which looks stunning. Under the blue lights, the paintwork actually looks really dark burgundy. And I can see that those doors at the back have now closed, which I think, oh yeah, pull the fan handbrake firmly on. Yeah, we're spinning around. Okay. <laughs> Literally spinning around, that's where I'm going to be going in a second. There are a lot of weight sensors, motion detectors and everything in here to make sure, basically, that uh, there's no person or anything that's around you. I now sit literally just here. That door behind me, if I can spin the camera around, I think is going to open in a second. Up it goes. You can see inside there then. Lots of cool lights here. So. The dolly's going to come and pick up the car, which we'll see when we get out at the top end as well. That's now sliding directly underneath. This feels a little bit strange. Under the car, I think I'm going to get picked up in a second. It's about to happen. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm being pulled backwards. I'm being taken backwards. This is very trippy. This is very, very, very trippy. Look at this. Look up. Wow. That's where we're going to be going. Many, many floors up inside the building. Um, doors closed. I'm, uh, this is like some kind of nervous anticipation. I know I've said that a few times, but I'm, I'm excited to see what this is going to be like right now. As we get taken up, we are down on the first floor, lift shaft three at the moment. And um, is it ready? I think it's just balancing. Yeah, it's just unlocked for the loading process, and in silence, we're off and away. Out past the bar, up past the lobby, the swimming pools. Wow, look at this, look at this view. Inside the car, I'm inside my car going up the building. My ears are popping, that's where we're going. Oh, all you can see is a reflection. <laughs> we're heading up. Wow, look at this, 32nd floor, 34th floor, 36th floor, 38th floor. This is literally the highest point in Florida that we're going to with a car, other than if the car is in a plane, of course, that's slightly different. 50th floor, my ears are popping, 52nd, 54th, and up to the 56th floor, the penthouse, where, uh, yeah, it's so quiet and easy. And now the doors are going to open, and um, this is the whole process, just like that. Wow, look at that view. I'm not sure if you can fully see it with the exposure, but look out in front. <laughs> this is unreal. Absolutely unreal. Wow. And then, I guess, we're being undocked. Yep, down we sit. And now that's going to open and close up, sorry. Dolly being pulled back. Then when it's back in the lift, the shutter doors are going to close. Closing down. And that is going to be that. And it's that simple. This is truly mind-blowing. The car has travelled in the lift, now to the penthouse where you can see we're in a double garage. We've got another double garage just around this way. Around this side, actually come on through quickly, have a look at this. You've got the two spaces and basically the man cave where you can move other cars to have them on display like a museum with that view in the background. That view is absolutely insane. And then, uh, my car, it's here. We've literally brought it up. We brought my car to this floor. And I'm gonna come and show you the view quickly because it's ridiculous. 
and this is where we've been brought to then the four floor apartment the condo the penthouse this is kind of a duplex the first two floors but have a look at the view out here over the beaches in fact the other buildings that are quite tall in their own right are rather significantly far down below us but the view out over the inland of florida out that way and if you get one of the propeller planes flying by past the beach they're actually down there somewhere which is moderately unreal when you're looking from quite this far up into the air all of the beach lounges what a view what a lovely day for it as well and we are here then inside the 20,000 square foot penthouse of course you have a lift to get around or an elevator i should say but four floors 11 garage spaces my car though positioned right there in the garage up here at the top of the tower the porsche design tower of course this condo apartment whatever you want to call it hasn't been furnished at this stage but we've just spotted a plane flying by and you can see exactly what i mean out that away over here you've got the swimming pool up on the balcony every apartment has that i think it's the only place where you can have that there are also lots and lots of other kind of things about this that make it the epitome of luxury in terms of what's on offer and well, that is the ultimate, isn't it? If you're a car person or not, that's a pretty cool thing to be doing, to be able to bring your car all the way up here. Let's take it back on down then. So I'm gonna hop on board the car, reverse the process, and go back down to the garage beneath the building to take the car back on out. But this is actually really very easy to do. Um, let me get back in the car, locked and loaded, and uh, it'll be ready to go on down as soon as we can. I can hear that it's arrived, so I suspect that door, yeah, there we go, it's opening up. This is the strangest of sensations, almost that glass box of the Deservator behind us. And then the dolly is coming back out, which I can't see at all inside the car, other than knowing basically it is mounting underneath me. And then in a second, it is going to kind of lift the car up and uh, lift the car up, put it into place. Obviously you can't move the car when you're up here. There are actually sensors back there to absolutely ensure that you never do because if you move the car it would all be out of line out of sync and everything would go well very wrong very quickly and uh, not to mention the risks that come with starting a car at this uh, in this kind of place and um yeah we're now back inside this is honestly totally totally strange one of the weirdest things that i've ever done that's closing up it'll be time to descend we're going at 800 foot per minute past the 30th, 28th, 26th, down towards the ground very, very quickly. There's actually air conditioned in here as well, which is kind of cool. And there are lots and lots of sensors to make sure that you don't do anything you shouldn't. And look at that. Look at that as we get back down towards the bottom, past the pools on that side. Then over on the other side, we go past the bar. Wow. Just wow. You can see some of the other elevators, the deservators behind. And then I think in a second, this will open. It will spit me back out forwards and then the dolly will go back and we'll be ready to drive off. This is actually a separate arrival area to where we departed. That's just over around the corner. The reason for that is so that the next person could now be lined up so that we then get spun to go on towards the exit while the next person drop back down again would be there getting ready to be taken up there are 130 apartments in the building of course Miami is very much a second home city but uh this is all happening behind the dolly disappearing again I've obviously not actually seen this given that I am inside the car but you guys have I'm getting spun around and as soon as I'm facing back towards the exit it will be possible to depart that's it that's the process in the sunshine then and up there is where we were just visiting of course over on the other side of the building 
but looking up is moderately crazy. We are talking a very, very tall skyscraper, the Porsche Design Tower here in Miami, and this car has just been up to the penthouse of it. Seeing it though in the sunshine, although I think we've got a storm that's probably about to be rolling in, is looking very nice. The paintwork, the liquid red, the Alan Mann gold, but this car has now been where not many other cars have been before, up to the top of that building. What a cool thing to have done with it. What a highlight of the visit to Miami. A big thanks to G Dizzle for coming along as well with the 918, for showing us the ropes and for making this possible. An insane experience to ride up in the car. Of course, residents of the tower can do that to their condos all the time. That's normal daily life. There are a few additional spaces downstairs, but basically every condo up here has parking. Everyone has a car park, has a number of spaces. Of course, you've got some smaller rooms, some larger rooms, um, and they come with different numbers of spaces. With the penthouses, there are two penthouses up at the very top. The one we've just seen currently available on market. And um, yeah, what an insane thing to actually have done. That was something definitely on my bucket list and a really cool moment for the car to have been right up there as you've seen and come along with me for the experience, the, I guess, of adventure, literally, of actually doing it. That's it for this time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.